I'm so excited for you to be here. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. I have a Sephora haul. Um, I want to share with you guys some things that I picked up. There's a lot of hair care, a little bit of skin care, and some makeup. So yeah, let's get right into it. Before we do though, if you have not yet entered my June giveaway, I am giving away a $250 Sephora gift card. It's so easy to enter. Just hit that subscribe button and then click on the raffle copter link in the description box below. All right, let's get started with a product made for, I guess, double chins that I bought three of. So this is the Wishful Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask. This is literally supposed to like enhance your jawline and kind of like sculpt this whole area. And I am someone who naturally has like, it's not a double chin. I have a pointy chin because I have a heart shaped face, but like I just naturally have this kind of like, Thing right here <laughs> so when I saw this I thought well maybe that'll help and honestly it's probably a gimmick but you know what um, I don't always make the best purchasing decisions so I, I bought not just one but three so yeah we're setting the tone real good to start off with so that is the first thing that I picked up Next up, I got the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I've heard a lot of great things about this. I'm gonna be honest, something is going on with my hair right now. I'm not really sure what it is, but something weird is happening. It's not like a damage issue. It's this weird thing where I'm washing my hair and then I dry my hair out and it's immediately greasy. It's like it's oily even right after I wash it. And I'm not sure why? Because I haven't changed anything about my hair care routine. So now I'm trying to figure out, okay, what should I change about my hair care routine to help with this oiliness? I have very fine hair. So I picked this up just because I want to use it on the ends to try to, um, you know, just with any damage or anything, because I do have color treated hair. But um, I also picked up a few other things that I'm going to try to fix whatever this like oil situation is going on at the top of my scalp. So on the topic of that oily issue, I also picked up this serum from Kerastase. So this is a scalp and hair serum, and it's basically supposed to help make your scalp healthier. And I feel like there just has to be something going on with my scalp because I have that oil issue going on, which I've not had since I was like a teenager. And then I also have an issue going on where my hair, like my scalp is feeling very tight. Like I would say if I wash my hair on Monday, on Wednesday I wake up and my hair, my scalp feels very, very tight. Like it's just uncomfortable. And I don't know what that is because for years I've done, I've shampooed like every third or fourth day. So if I shampoo on Monday, I won't shampoo again until Wednesday at the earliest. And for me to be waking up on Wednesday and feeling like my scalp is just really tight is just an odd sensation. So I picked up several different products for this issue. This is one of them, but this serum is supposed to help promote a healthy scalp so that your hair can grow better. So you know, as someone who would love for my hair to grow some more, I went ahead and picked it up and hopefully it's gonna do something. So I also picked up two shampoos from Briogeo. Um, they're both the Be Gentle and Be Kind, but one is the Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo, and the other one is the Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. So the Banana and Coconut is supposed to be a cleansing shampoo, but it's supposed to cleanse your hair without taking, you know, away too many of the oils or stripping, you know, your scalp. So it's like a clarifying shampoo, but a healthy one, one that's not gonna like dry me out too bad. So that's why I picked this up because when I was researching whatever's going on with my scalp, uh, one of the sites said, you know, try a clarifying, a cleansing shampoo once a week. So I wanted to pick one up that wasn't gonna strip my hair. So that's why I picked up this banana and coconut one. And then I picked up the matcha and apple replenishing one because I just, I like to have moisturizing shampoo. And that's the one I normally go for. But right now, since my hair is doing something odd, I want to try a new, you know, everyday shampoo. Not that I shampoo every day, but just, you know, a new regular shampoo. I had been using the Alterna Caviar moisturizing one, but honestly, it doesn't lather really well. And I just don't feel like it 
I don't know. It's nothing to write home about. So I want to try a new kind of just regular routine shampoo. So I'm going to try this matcha and apple replenishing one because it had a lot of good reviews and I know a lot of people love, love, love this shampoo. So I'm going to give it a shot. Next up, I have another questionable purchase, uh, another edition of what does Ashley spend her money on and why? Um, I picked up three of these sil uh, slip large pure silk scrunchies. I have actually owned these before and they're ridiculously priced for scrunchies. I think you pay like $10 a scrunchie. Yeah, not kidding. But I absolutely loved these. I first got these last year when I was pregnant and I absolutely love them. They're silky, they're soft, you know, they don't leave a crease in your hair. And I have since gotten a lot from Amazon of like the silk satin type scrunchies and they work really great. I'll be sure to link um, a set down below of the ones from Amazon as well. But these are the original and they're so nice. And honestly, the only reason I didn't ever repurchase these was because when they finally lost their elasticity, I was so annoyed that I had basically a $10, $11 scrunchie that broke on me that I was like, I'm never going to buy those again because they're going to break. And I'm going to be ticked all over again about them, you know, losing their stretch. They're like bounce. And, you know, here we are. And I guess I finally got over the fact that they didn't last forever and I bought another pack. So yeah, there we go. All right, next up I have a couple makeup products. So this one I actually already opened because I am wearing it on my eyes today since it matched my dress i decided why not it is the spritz edit palette from busy art i love these little busy art palettes you guys they are so nice they're so thin and small that you know it's just easy to travel with them and i've heard different people speak about like oh they're so small like i don't want a palette that small for me this is perfect because i don't reach for palettes a lot especially not colorful ones i mean to me this is colorful i know for a lot of people this is like a neutral but for me this is kind of colorful um but i saw this and i absolutely loved the color story i love kind of oranges and just that tone is so great especially with blue eyes so I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. And I love that it's based off of, you know, it's kind of inspired by an Aperol spritz, which if you've never heard of that, it's, um, it's an Italian cocktail and it is so good. And I honestly, I have like this piece of me that feels missing because I have not been to my favorite Italian restaurant in, oh my God, so long now. My favorite Italian restaurant, it's like this cafe restaurant it's a cafe meets a bakery meets a restaurant in philadelphia in the it's kind of close to rittenhouse if you are from philly or have ever been to philly and it is so good it's called the grand cafe aquila oh my gosh if you ever get to go to philadelphia go there you will not be disappointed order the um pappardelle with ragu that is what you need it is so good and now i want pasta anyway so that's a great place to get an Aperol spritz as well, which is why this palette reminded me of it. And I don't know. So I just love the color story. I love the inspiration behind it. So I picked it up and I'm really glad I did because, you know, as you can see on my eyes, it looks quite darling. All right. Next up, I picked up two of these Les Rose Perfecto liquid balms from Givenchy. I picked up the color Solar Pink and the color Nude Chill. I have no idea how these ended up in my cart, but I saw them and I thought, wow, that's beautiful. And it really is. There's like leather on the, I don't know what you call this, the handle. I don't know. There's some leather up here on the packaging and these just look beautiful. I think they're like lip glosses, meat balms. Yeah, this is definitely a lip gloss. Oh my gosh. This nude one is really pretty. So that was the nude chill. And then this is the solar pink. <gasps> This looks so pretty. I kind of want to like wipe my lip off and put this on now. Shall I? I shall. All right, I think I got most of my gloss off and I'm gonna try this solar pink from Givenchy. That is luxurious. I mean, at this price point, it better be luxurious, right? Oh my God, I've got some issues going on right here. Wow, I really like these. I kind of, now that I've tried it, I get what they're saying about liquid balm. It does feel like a gloss meets a balm because it is pretty weighty. It's like a gloss meets a balm. So, you know what? These were, I think, 
a pretty good purchase. I guess my crazy 1130 at night online shopping self knows what she's doing. All right, last but not least, I have two skincare products. The first is this Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I spoke a little bit about this in my top five masks video. I absolutely love this overnight mask. I actually use it as my overnight moisturizer pretty much every other night. So I just needed to restock it and I went ahead and did, oh my gosh, I just love this so much. It's a really good product and the price point is not too out there. I highly, highly recommend that product. And then the last item that I picked up is this Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I had gotten a mini of this and I started like squirting a little bit of it in with my morning moisturizer or my morning serum. Um, I've kind of gone back and forth and I really love what it does. It makes my skin feel very hydrated throughout the day, makes my skin feel a little more plump throughout the day and I really love to have hydrated skin because I do have drier skin and I think especially in the summer I like to feel like you know very plumped very hydrated it just helps me feel more glowy and you know who doesn't want to look glowy in summer I think we all like a glowy look so I really liked the mini and I decided you know what I'm gonna invest in the full-size product and you know Drunk Elephant they have really good products I have liked so many of their products I think the only one I don't like is the Proteiny Polypeptide moisturizer. That moisturizer is not thick enough for me. I do not like it. Um, I know people swear by it, but for me, it's just, it's not a good one, but so many of their products are really good. So I really, really like this and I'm excited to continue to use it in my skincare routine. All right, guys, that is it. Please let me know in the comments below, which of these products, you know, would you like to try or which of these products do you think I'm kind of a crazy person for spending money on? It's okay, I know, I make some suspect decisions at times. <laughs> I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, you can always chat with me in the comments or over on Instagram. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Bye.